Let's solve this together. It says 4x squared is equal to root of 2x. Okay, we're going to solve for the value of x in this question. All right. Now, first things first, let's square both sides. So you need the square root sign. So we have 4x squared squared to be equal to this is um root of 2x squared. Okay. Square root cancel squared, so that we are left with 4 squared is 16, and x squared is x. X squared squared is x to the power of 4, so we equal to 2x, right? Now, from here, we can say 16x to the power of 4 minus 2x is equal to 0. Now, we have 2x into, this is 8x cubed minus 1 is equal to 0, okay? Now, from here, we can say it's either that 2x is equal to 0, implying that x is equal to 0, or 8x cubed minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, can we express 8 as 2 cubed, so times x cubed minus 1 is 1 cubed, okay, is equal to 0, okay? Now, we can say that this becomes 2x or is the power of 3 minus 1 raised to the power of 3 to be equal to 0. Okay? Now moving on from here, we can say, and this is the difference of 2 cubes. And the difference of 2 cubes says that if you have a cubed minus b cubed, it's equal to a minus b multiplied by a squared plus a b plus b squared. Okay? Applying this law here, we now have that this is 2x minus 1 multiplied by 2x squared is 4x squared okay plus 2x times 1 is 2x plus 1 squared is 1 squared which is 1 okay now this is the product of two things being equal to 0 when the product of two things is equal to 0 it's either that the first one is equal to 0 or the second one is equal to 0 so it's either 2x minus 1 is equal to 0 this implies that our x is equal to half. Or we have 4x squared plus 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. Okay. Now we can say from here, using quadratic formula, that our x here will be equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Okay. Now from here. We can now say that our x here becomes equal to minus b is minus 2, which is minus 2 plus or minus square root of 2 squared is 4 minus 4 times 4 times 1 is 16 all over 2 times 1, which is 2. So this is equal to, okay, minus 2 plus or minus 16 minus 4 is 4. So this is root of negative 12 all over 2. This is equal to minus 2 plus or minus, root of self is 4 root 3, and root of negative 1 is i. So we have 4 root 3 i all over 2. Okay? Moving on from here, we now have our x here is equal to minus 1 plus or minus 2 root 3 i. Okay? And this becomes the final answer to this question. Thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, please like. Comment and subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video.